Hey, I'm Shane from IamImpact.com and here's a quick answer to a question from Alison, which is, she writes, uh, I just wanted to know what application or software do you use when you hold your interviews or video podcasts? So I'm assuming this concerns the question of, uh, you know, interviews or podcasts with more than one person, in the case of interviews, obviously, where I have like a side-by-side -side video where you see both people. Um, and actually I've, I've tried several different things Here's what I can tell you right now. One of the, well, one of the most readily readily available ways to do it is to use Google Hangouts, and so you can you can start a Hangout and you can invite other people. And in fact, if you you can do a Hangout on air, which means it will automatically stream to YouTube, and the video will then be available on your YouTube channel. The obvious restrictions there is you know everybody needs a Google plus account uh, you need to be it's going to be a YouTube video so you have to have a YouTube account and all that and it's not the easiest to use I mean I think Google plus is unbelievably counterintuitive the the interface I mean it's I don't think I've ever started a hangout either with me starting it or someone else starting it where we didn't have to do several attempts before everybody actually got the invitation everybody actually figured out how to join the hangout and so on so Really, the biggest problem with Hangouts is Google Plus and actually trying to get everybody to realize how to get on there and how to get that done. But that's a fairly easy way to do it once you have people there because uh, it will automatically just switch cameras to whoever is talking and, and you'll just have the video already uploaded. So that's, you know, there's very little like technical uh, interference required from your part provided you can make the Hangout happen. Uh, another version that I quite like is to use GoToMeeting where you can, well, and actually it's a combination of GoToMeeting which will display the videos side by side and then capturing that um, with uh, Camtasia. And I prefer capturing with, it with Camtasia because the audio quality on GoToMeeting is not good. And in fact, here's the problem. the If you're interviewing someone and you capture it with Camtasia, you will have a good audio from the person doing the capturing and the audio from the other person will not be great. And so if you want a really good result, you will have to uh, get them to record audio locally as well, send you the file and then edit that in. So there's a lot more editing going on there. Um, yeah, so basically if you use GoToMeeting, video quality is going to be better and it's going to be easier to get people on there as well and you're not tied to Google and YouTube, but you have to do some work to get audio quality to be good. If you use Hangouts, you're tied to Google. Video quality won't be very good. I've, I've seen that in general, video quality doesn't seem to be very good on Hangouts. Um, but but overall, you know, it's like a, it's for free. And apart from the complications, that's probably the easiest way to do it.